liftoff of the Delta rocket with opportunity. When I was 14, two rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, landed on Mars. And that was hugely inspirational because we were seeing some of the first images come back and everybody was cheering and I was like, gosh, I want to be a part of that. The mission of Soul Power is to make self-sustained wearables that make people's lives better. We like to think we've created a, a new category called wearable energy harvesting. Devices that use normal motion like walking, running, moving to charge useful electronics. Our first implementation of that is a connected work group that helps workforces be safer and more productive. So here we have a prototype boot, and what happens is every time you step down, it's creating power, it charges a battery and an electronics board in the front. And that board has accelerometers which measure motion, temperature sensors, GPS sensors, and a Wi-Fi module so it can send all of that data to the cloud. It doesn't matter if it's nighttime, if it's sunny out, if it's raining, every time you step, it's spinning that generator. It's actually 10 times more efficient without fatiguing the user than any other type of kinetic charger. Wearable technologies like Soul Power uh, will fundamentally change how we work. I grew up in upstate New York in Ithaca. The Mars rover program was going on at Cornell just down the street. That really uh, inspired me to study robotics and study engineering and ended up getting to intern at, at NASA, so actually getting to work on some of the technologies that support that program. Soul Power came about as part of a class project at Carnegie Mellon. We were asked to create technology that solved a problem for students on campus. And we came up with a way of putting lights on shoes so students could see where they were going at night and cars could see them while they were walking. And naturally, we needed a power source for it. So we came up with this way of sustainably charging the lights using the motion in somebody's step. The U.S. Army, when they're interested in supporting a type of technology, releases what's called a broad agency announcement, which says that they have a problem and they need innovative companies to help them fix it. But they are trying to reduce the amount of backup battery rate that soldiers have to carry every single day. We told them what technology we could build, we asked for their assistance, and we built it and delivered it. And those same benefits can be applied to many other industries like construction, energy, remote surveying essentially anywhere where somebody's off the grid and you need to know where they are. This is the Hulk. It's a machine we use to test that the charger is meeting the requirements that we built it to. One of the requirements is that it doesn't break when somebody's stepping on it. So it's actually built to withstand 750 pounds or a 200 pound person plus 50 pounds of military gear and it has to support three times their body weight because three times your body weight goes into the heel strike of your step. HANA is the backbone of Soul Power. Um, everything that I do, everything that we all do at Soul Power is just building off of innovative work that, that she started. Science, technology, and engineering is the future. It's really, really important that we have diversity of thought when we're attacking really challenging problems. And when you do create something that's solving compelling problems for people, it, it does feel good. I would tell young girls, go into STEM, not just because we need you, but because it's awesome. My name is Hannah Alexander, and I'm honored to be a Toyota Mother of Invention. <laughs>